Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome to the fifth lesson of PHP and MySQL and Unity. And before we start, I have something to tell you. I'm officially a Bachelor of Science. Yeah, I graduated from digital media, so yeah. So I'm officially done with school. So yeah, that's cool. And now let's get back to the tutorial. In the last episode, what we did was inserting a user. So we created a table here for the users. But now we want to insert the data from Unity. So first of all, we want to go to Unity and create a new C -sharp script. And I'm going to call it data inserter. And I'm sorry, I'm not too creative with my naming. But anyway, in data inserter, we want to create a new variable called um, I mean, a new function, and I'm going to call it uh, insert user, or maybe better, uh, create user, because we're creating a user into the database. And for this, we need four variables. The first one is going to be the username. The second is going to be the password. The third one is going to be, oh yeah, so we just need three three parameters. The third one is going to be the email, okay? So for doing this, we need to use the www form, www form, yep. And what this is, this is a class that allow us to send a form to a PHP or in, in simple words, we can trigger our PHP from Unity using the www form. And we'll just call it form and it's equals to a new www form. Okay, so we create it first. Then in form, we want to add a field. Okay, before we can understand what we have to add in this form add field, we have to do some adjustments in our insert user.php so you can go and open that file which was here in in xamp htdocs cool yt rpg so we open that php file and we should have a server name um which is equals to localhost so here we just uh, set everything manually right but right now what we want is to get this from the user so instead of setting it like that, I'm going to comment it out. We want to do this post and we add a, a string of the name of this post variable. So how do we get this username here? Because we're creating a username variable based on a post, post which is referenced as um, just let's say username post, okay? Oops, oh, 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 username post. And same for the email, email post, and same for the password. So I'm going to comment that out, paste it, the email post, and it's password post, okay? So now instead of just setting it manually, we're going to we're telling PHP, hey, someone is going to post something from somewhere. OK, so whatever they post with this ID, this reference ID, assign it into our username. And then someone is going to post something called email post and just assign it into our email variable. OK, something like that. So that's what we want to do from Unity. We want to tell that PHP file, hey man, I have a form for you. You need to put this this thing into that form and I mean into that post and blah, 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 and do everything, right? So we add a field and you saw we have two parameters, the field name, which is this here. This is the field name and then the value for that field name. So in this case, we're going to do um, it's called username post and our value will be username this username that is given to us from the user okay and we're going to repeat the same here, here, here. 
we're going to do the same for password post and also the email post and we're going to copy these here and copy these here great now we made our form now we have to use a www okay and this is another class that the summary says it simple access to web pages okay so it's in www we just call it www equals to new www and when we create the www we set it to a new www with a url and we can also add a form to it okay so simply it's going to connect to that url and send this form to it so what we need to add here is the url of the insert user.php and that insert user.php is right um is it localhost then cool yt rpg insert user.php okay so we're going to have a variable here called create user url and we're going to set it to this so later here we can use it create user url and then we want to add a form so the form is just the form we created called okay we have an error oh i didn't close this okay and then the form is form from here this is our www form which already has this which will be put inside here 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 that later will be used for the connection and later use into the insert values and blah 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 uh, so in the connection later we can actually get these values from post but now we will just keep it manual okay so that's the first part that we need to do now we have to test this so we have some errors wait any error no no errors great um now i'm for testing purposes i'm going to just do it through the editor so i'm going to make a public string input username and do the same here here input password and input email so we're going to do that and later um in the update we're going to check if input dot get key down space so we want key code dot space that means if we press the the space button in our keyboard we're going to called create user with which parameters the ones that we will assign in the editor so it's going to be input name input password and input email okay so when we when we press the space bar we are going to call this function and we should be able to create our user in the database so now i'm going to um, going, i'm going to unity camera i'm just going to create my um what is it called insert data inserter and we have that so i'm gonna play this so we have nothing but we have this script right here on the right is it maybe a little bit small but you guys can take a look at the right i'm going to create a um, unity test that's going to be our username and the password is going to be one two three one two three four five six and the input email is going to be uh, test unity email at uh, lucas.com okay now we have to press the space bar and let's hope that something happened if we refresh this users and yes we have wait something wrong happened did we save this did we save this I think we saved this um Mm hmm this is this feels weird 
This is not the thing we created. Am I running? Am I editing the wrong file? Okay, I want to... Because these haven't changed. They have... Okay, so I'm running the wrong file. This one is in H hard drive and the one I edited is in C drive. So don't have silly mistakes like mine. I'm going to get this insert user from here. Copy the insert user and I'm going to change this. Oh my god, that was close. Replace the file on destination. Yes, and let's hope that this works. Now let's do it from Unity again, and space, refresh. Yes, it worked. Unity test, test Unity email at lucas.com, one, two, three, four, five, six, we did it. So now, um, yeah, this is how you create a form and send it to the PHP file we created in the last episode and then you do it here. So then what you can do if you want, uh, maybe I'm going to do an, an optional video for you guys, but you can create some input uh, with the UI canvas. And I think we can do that next lesson. As a present for me for not being in such a long time and not being able to upload videos. Again, I'm so sorry guys, but at least we are back. I am back. With we, I mean me, and <laughs> with back, I mean I'm really trying my best to do videos for you guys. And yeah, so please keep supporting me. The reason I keep making videos, I think, is because uh, I see a lot of people commenting, and, and for me, it's really, I feel really, really good when I see some comments saying, like, thank you, this was what I needed. And yeah, so please keep commenting, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.